Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you one of the most important and commonly used flutter widgets, the bottom navigation bar. But here's the thing, I'm not just going to show you how to add it. Stick around until the end because I'll share some neat tricks to make your navigation bar not only functional, but also beautiful and user friendly. Here's what we'll cover today. How to add the navigation bar, how to switch between pages and how to make the bar look modern and stylish. Let's jump right in. We'll start by creating a new project. Good news, you don't need any third-party packages. Bottom navigation bar comes built right into Flutter. By the way, if you ever need help with mobile app development, feel free to reach out to me via email. Now let's open main dart file. First I'll delete all the default code and create a main method that runs our app with runup. Since we don't have an app class yet, let's create one right away. We'll use material app and set its home to home page. Inside home page, we'll create a scaffold. And here's a key part. The scaffold has a property called bottom navigation bar. And that's where we'll add our bottom navigation bar. Next, let's add the items. Each button on the bar is a bottom navigation bar item, which requires an icon and a label. I'll create three items with different icons and labels. And there we go, the bar is already showing up, but it's still static. Now what's the point of a navigation bar if it doesn't actually switch pages, right? Let's make it interactive. First we'll turn our widget into a stateful widget so we can track the currently selected item. We'll create a variable to store the selected index. By default it's set to 0, meaning the first tab is selected. We'll pass the variable into the current index property. Then in the on-tap callback we'll update the value using setState. Let's test it. Now the bar responds to tabs, but the screen doesn't change yet, so let's fix that. I'll quickly create three simple pages with different backgrounds. In our class, we'll declare a list of these pages. It's important that the number of pages matches the number of items in the navigation bar. Finally, in the scaffold button, will show the page at the index of the selected tab. Let's run the app and it works. We can now switch tabs and see different screens. But let's be honest, it still looks kinda boring. So now I will show you how to make it look so much better. First, let's change the background color of the bar to black. Then let's adjust the icon colors. I will make the selected item white and unselected items grey. Much clearer now. But we can go even further. With the active icon property we can display a different icon when it's selected. For example, a fillet version. This instantly makes the bar look more modern and intuitive. And one more detail. 
We will use the selected label style property to make the text of the active tab bold and slightly bigger. Now our bottom navigation bar looks clean, stylish and user friendly. So in just few minutes we have built a working bottom navigation bar, page switching and a polished and modern design. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what topic you would like me to cover next. See you in the next video.